Hi guys, what's up? My name is Jay Ruger. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing spooky Halloween shit. So today I'm going to be running you guys through a tutorial of how to do my sexy devil look. Just the face. We're only doing the face today because the whole body is a whole other thing. But we're gonna be going through that and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it start to finish. Uh, it's September, so I know that people are gonna be starting thinking about what they're gonna be doing for Halloween. So I thought now would be the best time because people like to practice their makeup, you know, one or two times, you know, before Halloween. So this gives you, you know, you could practice it once, you know, every other week. And you'll get like two or three practices in and you'll be Halloween ready. It's perfect. As per horns, uh, if you go to your local costume shop, or Spirit of Halloween, or generic Halloween store, you'll find horns just like these, uh, and they come with a netting uh, that all around them that you'll be able to use. That is what most people will use for horns uh, that are going to be prosthetically applied to the head. Uh, I, however, have a pair of custom horns, that's what I'm going to be using today, uh, but they apply the exact same way. These are my horns, these are the ones you'll get at the costume store. They are a little bit different. I did make these myself, I sculpted them, don't be so like, great, where'd you get them? I made them. <laughs> so what I like to do first is prime and prep the skin, and you can go and follow my tutorial on that, on how to prime and prep your skin. That's gonna be in my makeup basics tutorial, which those will be continuing this month. Uh, just got a little off there, but they will be continuing. Um, I am just going to go in and first prime and prep with these two real quick, these are just anti-acne solutions and lotions. Spirit gum will do a number on your skin. And then after that, I'm going to be going in with a with the e.l.f. mineral primer. And I started applying these things with a uh, beauty blender because I just found that it reduces acne. And lastly, I'm going in with a pore minimizer primer. Uh, I'm going to color correct just a touch, 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 touch bit. Um, I use the Flower Beauty uh, stick foundation because it's super yellow, um, and that's just really, it really does well for my skin for color correcting. Um, I don't want my beard to show through, not not because I'm doing a female illusion or anything, but because it does mess with the way I'm going to be doing my neck today. Next I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Dream Velvet Dream or whatever, Dream Velvet, whatever, foundation. I'm trying to move away from using Krylon for everything because I have a very strong uh, addiction to Krylon because it's the best, it's, it's literally my favorite foundation, but it's like a lot of people don't have access to it. So I'm trying to not use it all the time. I just got another one of these. This is a Sonia Kaushik Beauty Blender. I'm obsessed with these beauty, with these like, uh, with these makeup sponges. I think it's a really good one. And they're like, they're about $7. And I think they're great. I'm like high key obsessed with them. Uh, for concealer, I'm gonna be using the The Rock Concealer in the shade Warm. I like this one, it's a very uh, thick, full coverage concealer and this is one that I like for this particular look I do like to paint it on very quite quickly and just like this this illusion I like to go make kind of like a block like an actual T shape on the forehead instead of like a dome like for like feminine illusions you want like an awk shape for masculine illusions, you want like a T shape for your nose and forehead highlight. And I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl loose setting powder here. When you're wearing this like full coverage of a foundation, make sure you're going and re-blending out your all the places on your face that normally crease right before you set it. So I like to set with a powder puff. This is a new one I just got. It's pink. Most of the ones I've had before are white, but. Just like light. And then I'm gonna take a big powder brush and I'm just going to buff and blend all of those powders and knock off all the loose ones. This is important because you don't wanna get flashbacks, so when you're taking photos, you wanna make sure you get all the loose powder off because if there's loose powder sitting on your face, 
And it doesn't matter what 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 powder it is. It could be Cody Airs one or Laura Mercier. It does not fucking matter what powder it is. Now, usually this is when I take like a pressed powder foundation and do my highlights. But because we're doing a demonic look today, I'm going to be taking a pure white. Bam! So that's going to give you this really bright, 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 bright uh, highlighting look. Um, for right now, you're just going to let it sit there. For right now, you really want that white to really like soak into the powders and stuff like that. Also, it's going to provide you a really good guideline for setting your horns to make sure that they are symmetrical on your head. Because <laughs> it's very hard. And the last thing we're going to do before we put on the horns is the eyebrows because they're also going to provide a like frame for where to put your horns so that you can make sure you get them symmetrical and good. I'm just going to take a, a very flat angle brush and I'm going to dip into my Maron Star Blend. It's black. Uh, I would use eyeliner, but I'm like totally out of eyeliner. Fill in your brows however you want. And you just apply your spirit gum to the back of your horn and or on your forehead where you won't think it'll go. You let it get tacky and then you press and hold. And then just like that, you stick the second one on and you press and hold. And try not to make too many facial expressions while the glue is drying. Now for spirit gum, you can use Ben Nye, Krylon, there are other options, I don't know what they are, but I use Krylon. As you can tell, I'm a little bit of a Krylon stan, I like all their products, I think they're fantastic. Uh, while they're drying, we're going to do a little contour. So today I'll be using La Femme and Ben Nye. These are, you can use any kind of like warm, uh, warm toned, Browns that you can find. You can find them in drugstores and stuff like that. I just don't have any because uh, all of my contour colors are very neutral or cool toned. But any kind of like warm toned brown or brown toned blush, even that's what this one is. These are brown toned blushes. Uh, and then a very, very red pigment, Ben Nye. I believe this is actually a pigment. That's oh, blush. They're all blush. I'm gonna grab a contour brush here and I'm going to dip into this copper tone, which is called Clove. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start here at the corner of the ear and you're gonna contour the same way anybody else would regularly contour. And you're gonna bring it down all the way to right here, right before where your mustache area would start. And then you're just going to bring it straight down. And you don't have to worry about that like up here a whole bunch right now because we're going to be contouring and stuff up there after uh, the latex. And you're going to take your powder brush that you used earlier and you're just going to almost like veiling but you're just going to kind of buff and blend and veil that out. It was a nice subtlety. Take your nose contour brush, whatever you use for that, and I'm just going to define and contour the nose very quickly, simple, nothing crazy. And you just go with a straight line straight down the side of the nose. And that is how you contour a nose to be a little more masculine. Go back in with your white and you're going to put that right down the center of the nose one more time. And just a little, a little tap, just like that. Next, go in with your more ready brown, um, whatever you want to use, and you're just going to gently sweep this all over the quote unquote beard area. And then powder brush and buff and blend. And last thing you're going to do is you're going to take a nice deep uh, neutral toned brown. I like to use this one, it's Black Radiance. I'm just going to take the littlest bit of that and just go right here to just shadow deepen this contour right here. So at this point, I'm gonna take my dampened beauty blender from before and I'm just going to dip it into some translucent setting powder that's white like this. Uh, this doesn't have pigment to it, so that's why I like to use this. And we're just going to whip those 
and they're gonna leave the spot open. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this spirit, the spirit gum, if it'll open. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take this spirit gum and you're just going to spread a little bit right around your horn. Then we're gonna take our scar wax. As you can see, I use a lot of this. Um, we're just gonna take a little bit, all right. Here, I use a screwdriver to dip it out because I'm a man. We do things manly like on this channel. And you're gonna make yourself a little tiny little snake like you do with Play-Doh when you were a kid. And you are just going to smash that down around the horn where you just applied to your spirit gum. Don't overdo it. Don't slap a whole bunch on because the more that you put on, the more you'll end up having to take off in the end. Trust and believe, if you just put a little tiny snake on, I promise you you'll get the blend that you want and the blend that you need, and you will not waste as much product. You can get these in smaller bins, by the way. They don't have to come in these giant ass fucking bins. So you're just gonna let that sit there and let the uh, spirit gum dry down just a little bit with the spirit gum on top of it. Spirit gum dry down with scar wax on top. It's drying. We're going to take the spirit gum again and on the other side and just do the other side real quick. All right, now that we've got that applied, go wash your hands again. You have excess spirit gum and excess scar wax on your fingers and that's gonna get sticky and tacky. So when you're blending it out, it, your fingers will stick to the scar wax and lift it back up. So wash your hands again. So to blend it out, you're gonna be taking Vaseline of any kind. This is generic uh, Target kind. I think it was like $2 for this thing. It's pretty, pretty cheap. You're not gonna go in like dig in and pull out a scoop, all right? A lot of people like to do that for some reason. No, you just take it and just go that's, that's too much. You just want your finger to have like the slightest little shine to it. <laughs> Don't overdo it. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to start slowly rubbing the scar wax. So every time you start to feel it drag, you just get a little more Vaseline. Next, we're gonna be going with a little bit of latex. And I just use Bed and I liquid latex. Um, and I just kind of just dab it on there using a brush and just kind of gently pat it onto the seams. And now we're gonna let that dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna do the neck portion. This is a really cool thing that makes it blend and look really cool. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a foundation brush, a little flat foundation brush. Pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. And you can go in with any black eyeshadow that you want. You just wet the brush and dip it into the foundation, into the eyeshadow. And you're just gonna dry your chin nice and sharp. So now that you've got your on back blacked out, you're gonna go and set it. You can use a matte black setting powder, or you can do what I do. I like to take Jeffree Star's Onyx Ice, which is a black highlighter. And Because uh, I like to have a shimmery neck. I think it's nice. This is my aesthetic, not yours. But you can just use a regular matte black shadow if that's what you want. Yes, sparkles, love it. Now is when I usually brush away my bake, but you can leave it under the eyes if you have a problem with fallout or catching fallout under your eyes. I don't, but if you do, feel free to leave it. Cause we all know a good bake will catch some fallouts. First, I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna dip into my red. This deep, deep red. Look at it, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to put this, tap this all over the lid, the entire lid space. And we're gonna set that right aside. I'm gonna set that brush aside. I'm gonna take a finer kind of like a medium pencil brush and just start defining out the eye shape that I want. I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Black. 
just a little bit more of a black pigment that I'm looking for. Oh yeah, that's the shit. Go back into this red, this banana red. And I'm going to just kind of smoke out the bottom. I did line my eye. I'm going to take that fluffier red brush that I used earlier. I'm just going to get a little bit on there and just kind of get that above. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that pencil brush and I'm just going to start buffing and blending. Delicious! I'm going to put on a little mascara. I'm just using the Bang Lash. Next, we're going to take the littlest bit of our foundation and a little concealer brush and just put it right on top of our latex. Take your contour brush and we're going to go with our copper shade and we're just going to tap it onto there. I'm gonna tuck that, blend that right into our contour there on the side. Do yourself a little forehead there, and then right at the top of the hairline. Next, we're gonna take your more red brown, and once again, just kind of tap it on all around. And now we're going to take this brush, buff and blend just a little. And then lastly, take your brush that you used to do your nose contour with and take that really dark shade of brown that you just that you use just for your uh, deepest contour point and you're gonna tap that just on the scar wax. That's also one of the reasons I like to use the brown scar wax for this instead of like my skin tone of scar wax. It's because it makes the darkening of it really a lot easier. Right on to it. And for the very last thing, you choose your lip color. I like to use a very, very nice dark medium brown uh, this is Daddy by Jeffree Star. It's one of my favorite colors and my favorite lip shades. I like to use it especially for this particular face. Now you can use any new tone lip, but I just prefer a darker one because I think it looks more cohesive with the rest of the face. And now we set it and forget it. And this is start to finish how I create this amazing beautiful look if you want to recreate this look make sure that you guys tag me on instagram or facebook or whatever you're going to be posting it i definitely want to see what you guys are doing tweet it to me get it to me i want to see definitely want to see if it if you do a you know job you know maybe i'll post it to my instagram who knows uh i love you guys Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification button so that you know every single time that I upload. And a special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, without you guys, none of this is possible. All right, you guys. Love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.